Welcome to this video. Urnebes. Um, okay. We play again a double fianchetto. Let's see if he plays d6, d5, or c5 in this position. d6. Okay. So we make it more difficult for him to play a typical king's Indian setup here with c uh, with e5 and here I like to um, yeah take control over d5 and um, okay let's just castle and here maybe. Is knight c3 an option? I wonder if he takes, I take back, he takes, I take back. And then knight e4. Hmm. He attacks my queen, and at the same time, there is a double attack against my knight, so this is not that nice. Um, okay, so maybe I just, you know, gain some space, and then I try to push for e4. Let's see if he uh, goes to uh, a5. What I can also try to do is um, to play knight h4 later on, but not at the moment. I mean, uh, first I want I don't want him to play um, bishop e4. Knight b4. That's strange because I mean um, there's not really a threat here to jump to c2. And where does this knight want to go to later on? <clears throat> so now I'm threatening to take here or maybe even better knight h4 because he might take now I take back he takes I take bishop e4 doesn't work or oh, it works maybe Maybe he can support his um, bishop afterwards with f5. Uh, although this makes a really a weakness here on, um, on the e-file. Hmm. Okay, I didn't see this one. Um, okay, if I take, he will take here with a knight. But is it really a problem? I might just return uh, with the queen to uh, what, what happened? Uh, nothing. Okay. Um, so this would be an easy, easy way. Maybe just taking. He takes here. I just go to d2, and he come. He jumps back, and he needs to jump back anyway. So, and then maybe. Queen c1 and exchanging this bishop here later on. <coughs> uh, pardon me. Yeah, this is as planned, and so now I expect him to play a knight e4. And here I just retreat. So now I want to exchange this bishop, and I think uh, the knight here is not very stable on e4 and I can attack the bishop here with knight h4 and he already has some uh, minor problems maybe he plays knight f6 here but then I think his whole setup uh, did not work that good okay knight c3 maybe okay first I just exchange here and now I'd like to uh, get rid of this bishop And yeah, I mean, I don't see how he wants to avoid the weakening of his kingside position. And I can always jump maybe with the queen here to g5 and collect a pawn. Um, so the position looks already quite good, in my view. 
and there are no really uh, any threats of uh, of black. Yes, he threatens now to take on e2 with check, but I have this move here, and I thought I can just play a queen d2 afterwards. Uh, I can collect the pawn, but I think queen d2 is much better. Um, he cannot move the knight now, so queen b4 is almost mandatory. But where does he really want to move? Um, okay, and now maybe is a3 an idea? Hmm. I can collect this pawn here as well. I think I like this. And just take here and the pawn on e7 and on d6. This pawn doesn't run away. Um, so, or does he catch my queen here? cannot really jump now to uh, or enter here on f4 or come back to f4 so if he just uh, you know chases my <coughs> my queen now with uh, a lot of rooks rook moves um, but I mean I have the square f5 yeah I should be I should be very strong now and I, once I push here for d d6 it's even better um I think this is enough here now um just to try to exchange queens and mm, yeah then next I try to you know gain control over the e-file. Rook e1 maybe. And I want to uh, make this bishop a bit stronger. And I mean the knight on d4 is very very strong but it doesn't really attack that much at the moment. I could also try to attack the pawn here on, on f5 maybe. Like queen f4, bishop h3. And Um, so let's try, um, hmm, yeah, how can I really enter here? I would like my to move my king more to the center, but uh, king g1 runs into knight e2, and this is not that nice. So, okay, maybe I just protect, uh, or not protecting, but move my my rook here on a better square, and then I move to uh, to f1 with my king. Um, I thought I am a, a pawn up, so is it that difficult for me to to um, put my pawns here uh, forward on the queen side? I thought now just b4, and this looks very good because. Uh, Um, the pawn on, on d5 is very strong. Oh, there was... I, I'm so stupid. There was a mate with f4, right? <laughs> okay, these things happen. And I could have taken here. Yeah, there are so many things now where you can win. Um, yeah, let's just check this. Uh, queen e5, uh, f4. 
yeah checkmate right in the middle of the board everything is protected here yeah I, we were just both running out of time okay let's have a quick look at the game and um, yeah I think this is just normal stuff and here I, I, I'm not that sure about all these activities black uh, had or pseudo activities maybe to call them because he didn't really achieve that much um, by playing this I mean it looks all very good but in the end um, if you look at the position here um, the pieces are you know he exchanges now his very very strong uh, bishop on g7 and um, here he already has some major problems so I would recommend not you know to to make uh, automatic um, aggressive looking moves or you know when you see forks and um, moves that might annoy your opponent you should also uh, calculate and, and, and see uh, yeah uh, the long-term advantages or disadvantages of your operation and um, yeah what will be the outcome of some uh, um, moves um, and what is the position like some moves later and it started with knight b4 which all look very tempting here knight c2 but if you compare this with this position here um, uh, let's say I already take here is really a, a bad position for black in my view yeah thanks for watching